Hey, welcome back to Talking About Poker Chips. My name is Chris. This is Poker Chip video number six. I've got a ton to get through on this one. This one is all about the company called ChipLab.com. Now, I belong to a poker community called PokerChipForum.com, which is a great forum. If you haven't signed up yet and you love poker chips, you need to sign up. Get involved, get active, communicate, make nice posts, say nice things, get to know the people on there. They're fantastic. And if you stick around long enough, you're gonna learn about all different kinds of poker chip companies. However, ChipLab.com, you might never hear of. And if you do hear about them, you might hear only negative stuff. And that's because Chip Lab does not specialize in high-end poker chips. Chip Lab specializes in low-end poker chips. Uh, these are 100% plastic, I believe, and they are metal slugged, and they are very slippery. For example, slippery. They slide and explode all over the place. Most poker chip enthusiasts are not fans of plastic chips. These are what we call dice chips. I used to have some, I got rid of them a long time ago. I'll put up a picture here. Dice chips are what you see in every Target and Walmart. They are cheap, they are easy, they are very slippery and very crummy, and people hate them who love poker chips. Personally, I don't hate them because to me, I get a little nostalgic because it's what we all started with. And Chip Lab makes that quality of a poker chip. But the difference is with Chip Lab is you can make it look exactly what you want it to look like. They have by far the easiest and best chip designer, the most intuitive and easy to work with. For a non-computer guy like me, I've designed literally hundreds of different chips. Twice a year I have a poker tournament where we have to have five or six or sometimes even seven tables. So upwards of 50 players. And I don't have any poker chip set near big enough to cover that many players. So I turned to Chip Lab for that set. And I was able to design what I think is a beautiful set. It's based on one of their hundred or more templates that they have. But the cool thing is, you know, I put my own game logo front and center. I made the denomination really big because, you know, the game, the tournament that I have with 50 players uh, typically has brand new players, it has friends, it has family, it has people who don't play poker often. So I got the giant denomination there, so it's easy to know what stands for what. And even better, I can make it different on both sides, and these are still cheap poker chips, relative. These are less than 50 cents a piece, which is cheap for a poker chip. It's a little bit more than a dice chip, but you're making it totally, totally custom. And as you can see, I put an expression on it. This is something we say in our garage all the time. I have a sign for it. When somebody gets a really bad beat, a nice thing to say to somebody, even if you're not in the hand, you can say, eh, poker's dumb. Poker is dumb. That's why we love it. And I have an expression for each chip. Let's go through them. We got a lot to get through. Here's the 100. I went with blue because not a fan of black, not a fan of white chips either. Those are both boring to me. I wanted blue for 100 to make it a little different. The best expression ever. We have a giant sign of this in my garage. No one cares what you folded. We say that all the time to each other. My favorite expression in poker, and that goes on the 100, which is a big chip in tournaments. And I got the purple beauty, which is always my favorite color. 500. Hurry up. Let's go. That's one that I say a lot. Hurry up. I don't like people that tank. It really is the one thing that still tilts me to this day. I have emotional control 99% of the time. But if you got somebody tanking on every hand, uh, they don't get invited back to my game. And of course we got the yellow, yellow 1K, all standard colors. And you know, you really can't go wrong with Chip Lab because they also have really good customer service. They're very friendly. They're understaffed, so they might take a little while to get back to you, but really easy to work with and uh, they call me directly, which I always appreciate. Uh, when I give them my phone number, they just call me up, say, hey, you, I noticed you ordered this, do you want this? So I've had nothing but good experiences with them. Focus on results, that's also very important to know in poker. <laughs> Let your emotions take over and focus on results and you'll do great. That's another sign in our garage. And we got the old 5K, oh, I gave away the expression. 5K blazing orange, and when people start to get a lot of 5Ks, I always like to say, hey, simmer down, relax. And you'll also see in the background of the master shot here, got red 25K chips. Definitely need them because when you got upwards of 50 players and 20K starting stacks, you definitely need 25K chips. 25K. And what does it say on the back? Yeah, if you've got a lot of 25K chips, you are definitely a luck box. So I love Chip Lab. I'm not ashamed to say it. 
even though these are low-end poker chips. Um, the slipperiness will drive you crazy. As the final table approaches, I generally hand out a lot of racks, so players can play out of racks, because you really can't stack them at all. I mean, 20 is the absolute maximum, and I've got, you know, some poker tables with soft felt, and so they can't even stack them that high, so that was a little bit of a disappointment when I got these chips, but I just love how they look. I love that they were so affordable. You can put whatever you want on them. And when I was making this set, I realized I can put whatever I want on these. That's crazy. So I made a bunch of other chips for fun. In my poker tournaments, we have a side game where we have what we call show me chips. And I used to have some from ABC Gifts and Awards. And then I made my own. Show your cards. It's a show me chip. I designed this myself. I used the template with the circle, but everything else, the eyeballs, the cards, the text, it's all mine. Show them, right? How cool is that? I also made little prizes for the person who busts out first. I know a lot of people don't like to have attention called to them when they bust out first, but a lot of people do like to get a little souvenir. Again, this is based on a template, but the donkey, the cards, and the text are all mine. First out, many more to follow, which is an expression I like to use when somebody busts out early. I say, many more to follow, and there's your royal flush. How cool is that, right? Used a toilet with a clip art, put my game logo in there. Only Chip Lab lets you do this this easily. It's very cool. Now, if I have a chip for first out, I also have a chip for the bubble. That's right, I don't pay the bubble. But I do give them this. I bust it out on the bubble at Pepper Street Poker. And we call this the FML chip. And since this is a PG video, grown-ups and teenagers know what that means. FML, bubble boy or girl, 2019. Everybody who cashes in my game gets one of these. See, this just keeps getting better and better. In the money, and this is for the big Saturday monthly events. If you make it in the money, you get one of these to keep. So even if you're being paid in fifth or sixth place, because I have a flat structure, make it rain, 2019, they're so cheap I can put the date on them. And I went kind of overboard, also made a third place chip, and of course a second place chip. Nice! And what did I do for first place? Well, I went crazy for first place. I got one of these. This is a crystal dealer button. These are cheap. These are just a few bucks. And you can make them totally customizable. And so I did for each month. First place, March 2018. You can see it's an Omaha 8 tournament that's coming up. That's very cool. It's big. It's giant. It's heavy. People love them. I have one for every month. I also have one for our World Series satellites. That we're going to run this year. This is a WSOP seat. This is the Pia... Pepper Street Poker version of a Lammer. There you go. Here's another one that I got coming up for April. You can do whatever you want. See, it's like springtime theme. You know what I'm saying? I just love Chip Lab. Oh, when I do have the World Series of Poker satellite, everybody's gonna get one of these. Chase the dream. Welcome to fabulous Burbank, California. Oh, spoiler alert, that's where I live. And this is uh, my favorite here. We are better together. I like to form a camaraderie in my game. See, Chip Lab is just off the chain, right? You know, I also have an ASM set of poker chips made on the H mold that I'm gonna be featuring soon, but it doesn't have a 25K chip. So what did I do? I go to Chip Lab and make a 25K chip. Nice, right? This is a different style of poker chip that they offer. It's a little more heavy duty. Big ass chip up in here with my little uh, game sign on there. Put that on there myself. Chip Lab rules. Got a 10 year anniversary chip that I made that I put in card protectors. Give to tournament winners sometimes, right? 10 years at my game. Chip Lab is the dopest of the dope. Oh, I guess I didn't mention, I, everybody who comes to a monthly event, they get a custom poker chip. Here's the one for March this month. Feeling lucky? Happy St. Patty's Day. Shenanigans, malarkey, it's Omaha 8. Everybody who comes next Saturday gets one of these to take home with them. For collectible chips, the minimum order for Chip Lab is 25, less than 50 cents a chip. Dude, you can't beat that deal. You just can't beat it. Who loves you, baby? Love is love is love. This is the February chip. Here's for the summertime. Hot town, summer in the city. This is the August chip. It's a scorcher, hot stuff. Yeah, this is a mix of templates and clip art that's free on the internet. I designed this stuff, that's so cool. Here's the crazy pineapple chip. We play crazy pineapple in September. Crazy enough for ya. Yeah, there's some cool ass chips here. Greatest nation on God's green earth. The main event, this is our July chip, obviously, 4th of July. America, let freedom ring. That's not political. Patriotism is not political. It's what we should all be, no matter what we believe. That's the main event, baby. And just a couple more. I gotta show you the Halloween chip. Stay spooky. Watch out for scary bad beats. The possibilities with Chip Lab really are endless. They really are. Thanksgiving, thankful for good times and good friends. Good drink, good meat, good lord, let's eat. That's the grace my grandpa used to say. And of course, Christmas time. 
It's actually holiday time. Be of good cheer. The holidays are here. Presents are the best part, no matter what you celebrate. So that's it for Chip Lab. I know it was a ton to get through, but I cannot sing their praises highly enough. I did post a post on Poker Chip Forum. It got a very tepid response. People do appreciate on that forum that I make customizable chips for people to take home. And that really is the killer app for Chip Lab. As I said, playable sets, they're okay. But you can make them say whatever you want. How can you lose? I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. As always, a special shout out to John Hobby, aka Hobby Felic on YouTube. Be sure to check out his videos. He's the original poker chip guy. I'm just here doing my thing with poker chips. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Like it and subscribe it if you do. I'll see you next time. Peace.